Hi guys! In this tutorial, I'd like to show you the entire process of revolver gun modeling. At the final part of this series, I will show you how to do rendering with turntable animation as a bonus course, so don't miss it. Okay, let's begin. The link of references is on the description. I will model from barrel first, so let's add cylinder and turn 90 degrees along Y axis. Add an edge loop on the cylinder and select several vertices. Extrude 4 times and this will be the curved part of the lower barrel. Do right click and choose Shade Smooth and turn on Auto Smooth. If you find an artifact on the mesh, tweak the location of the vertex. Most of glitches will be disappeared by this. Let's extrude again. Press S, Y and 0 to flatten the mesh. Pressing Ctrl key while you're grabbing object allows you to snap it to where you're selected. Select upper loop and S to scale along Y axis and press Ctrl B to bevel. It doesn't look circle, so I will scale down the bottom edges. Go to Modifier tab and select Bevel. Three segments will be enough. If bevel modifier doesn't work properly, press Ctrl A to apply rotation and scale. There's a step on the top of barrel, so let's select faces and extrude along Z axis. Press I to insert faces and push it inside the barrel. Now let's model mainframe. Select back surface and press P to separate from the barrel.
I will add three loop cuts on the crane and slide them along X axis. This time I will use knife tool to add loop cuts on it. Make sure to press C key while you're using knife, otherwise it will not cut the back wood of object. Okay, I'm going to make a smooth curve on the bottom part of crane that I have just created. It's getting smoother than before, but don't forget to check the entire form of the object and if you think it's necessary, don't hesitate to adjust the upper part of crane as well. Now it looks good to me. In part 2, I'm going to finish blocking out mainframe. I will see you in the next one.